All right, good afternoon, everybody. What is today's topic? Let's talk about white rice and the Instapot. And like I said, I'm throwing these up and creating my own recipe kind of catalog of things that I like. It's an easy way to keep track of it. I share them with family, you know, other relatives and, you know, friends that have an Instapot or one of those Fujis. And somebody say, can you do this stuff in a crock pot and all that? And yeah, I suppose you can. But this relates to the Instapot or to the Fuji in particular. So I'm going to change the screen. Let's get right to it. I'll give you the list of ingredients. I'll make a couple of comments on how you can make this actually taste a lot better. Here we go. All right. Now, one of the things that seems to work fairly well for me is if you spray the inside lining of the Instapot before you actually put all the ingredients in there to make the rice, it tends not to be so sticky afterwards and easier to clean. Um, if you've ever made rice on an Instapot or one of these, you know that it can stick pretty hard and you have to kind of soak it in water to loosen it up to clean it out and make it easier to clean anyway. Now, the other thing you'll see in number two, you can use water and I do that a lot. Okay, but you can also, if you want to add some more flavor to it, I played around one day and I used chicken broth rather than water and it turned out actually really good. Now, somebody made the comment, what about you know vegetable broth or what about beef broth i don't know i suppose it would be fine i have not tried those yet and then the rest of it is real easy and then number five if you cook it for four minutes and then you just open up the release on it and let it release naturally you're good with four minutes if you want to hurry up and get this done at lightning quick speed then go ahead and let it go for eight minutes and then once you open the quick release, the red button there in conjunction with opening the quick release, if you push down on it, it releases all the pressure and steam at a lot faster speed. So cook it a little bit longer. Now, if you're going to use brown rice, what's always worked well for me is 18 minutes, 18 minutes on brown rice. And then I just open up the quick release and just let it naturally just release on its own all the way down. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more fluffier and a little bit more not so sticky, let's say, or what have you along those lines, I'll use fluffier. You can add another one quarter to one third, I mean, cup of water and some melted butter and throw it in there and then stir it all up um, and then just go ahead and, and cook it, you know, with the pressure settings that I set. Okay, another quick recipe, jasmine rice, meaning for white rice. Okay, but I also talked to you about the brown rice and what to do. Um, people said the brown rice is too tough, and when I looked at their cooking times, they're too short. Brown rice, you're going to have to cook it longer. Okay, I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe. If you like these fast recipes, let me know. Anyway, the next one I'll do is cilantro rice, so, you know, follow along. The next one is a really flavorful rice recipe, and I'll see you on the next video. Know of something better, drop in the comment below. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.